folks, here we are again. Almost springtime, just coming in at the end of winter here. So, got this job, I got a couple subcontractors helping me. I got Randy with his bucket. This is uh, this is Dylan's truck and chipper over here. Dylan's been, um, I do a lot of down only jobs. He's been kind of following me and chipping up. So, Dylan is gonna be helping clean up this tree. And here it is. So, so eventually this guy wants to remove this cottonwood, that cottonwood, that maple, that cottonwood. They're all kind of nasty trees, but we're kind of doing like a day rate deal. We'll just kind of see what we get done today and come back later. But we're starting with this big, scary cottonwood. It's it's quite tall. It's, you know, probably 120 feet tall, maybe a little taller. It's it's a big tree. And we're going to start with this. I'm going to go up and get what I can in the bucket. And then I think Randy's going to um, uh, Randy's going to climb that one and it should be a good time. Oh, and I never mentioned I, I've got these boots from JK Boots. I don't think I've ever mentioned these before. These are the OT boots. Um, they're just kind of like good boots for overall for uh, groundwork and stuff. And I use them in the bucket. Rather than the lineman boots, I just use those when I'm climbing. But JK gave me these boots months ago and I've been wearing them and realized I never mentioned them. <laughs> so these are the, the OT boots. They're, they're really comfortable. I actually wear them um, when I'm walking around town and stuff. But when I climb, I use the, the lineman boots. So. I'm gonna go get in this bucket and start annihilating this tree. Time to put on the bra. <laughs> Good luck, I tangled it up for you. I'm never gonna look at one of these harnesses and just... Just whip it on like, oh yeah, I got this, <laughs> I got this perfectly. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Well, we'll be down here staging. Just doing the stage dance. Oh. <laughs> Don't blink or the tree's gonna be gone. <laughs> Uh, you, I'm gonna turn this on because that's not, it doesn't work with it off. Yeah, that's another thing I hate about this bucket. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't work when it's off. Don't, don't remind me. Stupid bucket. <laughs> I'll be in here while it's raining. <laughs> Call me when it stops. <laughs> Take me back to Florida. Dude, I know, man. All right. Come on down, the bucket's maxed out. <laughs> I hate all the droopy lower parts of the cotton place. Yeah, it's just like when you go up a big fir tree that has like a million dead little dead stubs that are like a foot long, like for like 50 feet. You're like, man, that's, that really sucks. I like all the comments in that last video about how <laughs> I saw this one comment, it was like, uh, Randy, I could do this every day, and then gets on a ladder, <laughs> and he's like... <laughs> Alright, Eric. I just don't want to do that cottonwood. I'm like, that makes total sense. <laughs> that, that one, that one, uh, that one sucks. Oh, it kind of does actually. Look we'll at where it's, I mean, there's like a, I mean, are, are we going to have to be able to get the horses out of there? We got to just kind of deal with the, the horses. horses to work. I'll, uh, I'll end up riding one around while you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Lowering it off the saddle. <laughs> yeah, got out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we got this bucket. Can't wait to trade you for my motorhome. <laughs> That's uh, like, got my mind racing. <laughs> I just could quit my job and become a permanent traveler. <laughs> that was the uh, That's, I don't know how I make money, but I'll just travel. <laughs> <laughs> I use your bucket more than I use my motorhome. <laughs> well, when I go, when I get my house in Florida. Yeah. When I go stay with Heath for a few months before that, I get that, my house. That, that can, you can just leave it down there. That can be your house in Florida. No, I'll just that leave it with you. I'll leave the bucket with you. That way I can rent out my house. You can just take all my equipment. Oh yeah. 
But then you'd have to maintenance it, manage it. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Come maintenance? Ma there's maintenance? Gotta maintain. <laughs> Gotta maintain this? Is that like letting it warm up in the morning? <laughs> no, we don't do that. I just turn the key and go, bro. <laughs> Not, not for me, but, but for like the average human being. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's, and it's only what you can it's assume what average human being. Yeah. <laughs> like you only can assume what average human being because you're, it's uncomparable. Yeah. Uh, under 200 pounds, I have no concept of weight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I feel you there. <laughs> it's, all, it's, always, it's always nothing, you know. Once we get to like 250, I start to go like, okay, I can feel this. Feels like I'm picking up a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, drop it on the cage. <laughs> I'll go get it. That's what it's for. Sorry, that was backwards. Thank you. I don't have to bend down now. <laughs> That's why I did that. As much as I like seeing you bend down. <laughs> yeah. I just don't know how many of those I got left in me. <laughs> you know? Only so many bend downs in life. Yeah. Every time you bend down, there's one less time yeah. in your life that you're gonna bend One down. less bend down. Wow. That one looked heavy-ish, but I know it wasn't. <laughs> well, you're almost there. Where you're gonna top it. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot, man. I feel like you could fit it right at the cedar. <laughs> it's going straight out into that field. I'd like to see it not break off. You know, yeah. I think we can... We're gonna be able to... We could top that cotton with this bucket. These trees aren't that tall. I mean, your bucket is just so tall. Yeah, exactly. I was thinking the same thing. Like, man. So, was talking to Clogger Pete yesterday. Yeah. You know Ace down in Australia? Yep. He says they have three. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Three 210 foot buckets. And they also have, get this, they have a 300 foot lift. Dude. I just don't even know how I'd feel about going up in that. Can you imagine being a like on a windy day or something? It's so scary. That's so scary. For some people. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Hey, Randy. You think you could do me a favor? Yeah, absolutely. Could you take your GoPro off your head and explain to the GoPro the difference between a chuck and duck chipper and one with feed wheels? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. I don't really know, like, the main difference I only know about a chuck and duck is like, basically, you see that? It has no, like, feed wheels. So this thing just, like, grabs the brush yeah. and maybe kind of grabs your hand also. So <laughs> you, you get, this action happens. I got a lot of bruises right here from that. You, you gotta chuck, literally chuck it in, and then you duck. <laughs> it is, uh, you can chip a lot of brush fast, but I don't know, that's like, is, it, is the feed wheels the only difference between a chuck and duck? And yeah, the feed rubber? wheels just slowly feed the branch yeah. in, whereas the chuck and duck, it's the blades that pull in. That's, a, that's like, I didn't know if there was like, I mean, besides this, Super awesome shoot conform configuration of just straight. <laughs> I think that's always cool looking. I've heard, I don't know if this is true. I've heard more people are killed with feed wheel chippers than chuck and ducks because when you use a chuck and duck, you're afraid. Yeah, you're you're actually like scared. So you treat it with respect instead of these big feed wheel chippers that you just like, you see people pushing their foot in and stuff. Right. I've actually gotten the piece stuck, like I threw a big piece and then like the, it made the the drum just boom, stop. It made this whole thing jump. Well, not this one, the tech model, but my old one. It was crazy. We should uh, speed line these limbs with the horses. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 
Come on, D'Artagnan! <laughs> D'Artagnan? Yeah. I named him one of the three musketeers. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's that's an electric fence, and I just put. Just cool, good for me. Did you shock yourself? No. It looks like this guy got his. He just got a, like a haircut. Like his tail is all like perfectly like lined up at the bottom. Should I just try to hop on him? You. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hold on, let me film that. <laughs> Gonna get kicked by a horse. <laughs> Dylan, do you want to do a group chipping and get another area, or do you just want to wait till he's completely done? It's up to you. I oh, right now? What? You want to chip now? Yeah, we can do a, yeah. a big clean, you know, clean this area out and then let him keep yeah. going. Yeah, I'll wait a minute. Yeah? I'll just, uh, I'll watch you guys. Stay up there to watch. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's just going to watch. He, he likes yeah, to watch. I just like to watch. Here I go. All right. There it goes, there it is. You know, I'm, I'm just, I don't really do this often, but these chuck and ducks are gnarly. Whoa! Point Dexter right here. Oh, who's this for? Oh, it likes, wants to save his eyeballs. <laughs> Slide down the boom. <laughs> I use that trick all the time. Slide down the boom and hit the truck. Uh, I do the slide down the boom and hit the house, the gutter, <laughs> all the stuff that, that involves not going the right way. I was watching these videos like, why do we live in like the coldest, wettest place? <laughs> it's not the coldest, but it is the wettest. I just hear all the, like, I've been seeing a lot of like Californians. They're like, why is it raining here so much? I'm like, Jesus, yeah. welcome to my life every. <laughs> Like, let's hear the complaints now. Come on. That was the guys in Philadelphia. They were like, ah, dumping rain. It's like, yeah, for one day. Yeah. <laughs> Try 30 days in a row. Do you have that many clothes? <laughs> oh, dude. So true. Like a chip truck. <laughs> like yeah. the back, like behind the seat of yeah. the chip truck. It's just all the moist shirts, yeah. moldy, mildew. Uh. <laughs> oh, wow. Be honest, Randy. Have you ever seen? Be honest. Have you ever seen someone as strong as me before? Well, I'll be honest with you. I, I'm blind, so, <laughs> so uh, I've never. <laughs> I've never seen anything. I've never seen anything. <laughs> Out at a hundred feet here, we're maxed out. <laughs> Yeah, I just got a few more twigs and then I'm done. Yeah, you, you're uh, you're maxed out, huh? Yeah. That's crazy that my boom didn't go all the way up. Time for the. <laughs> I was thinking too, maybe we just get all the logs on the ground, and then I can just go buck wild while the two of you nibble away at that maple, maybe. Oh, it just you know. gotta be. This gotta be bucked up too. Uh, I'm. I don't know. I'm gonna ask. Uh, if he wants it bucked up, it's gonna be really time consuming, you know. What length do you want? I got 150, 200, and 300. Let's go. Uh, we'll go two. You got uh, a device, like a press hook, or do you want something on it? Oh no, I was looking for a rig rope, like a, oh, for, like the uh, zip line. Zip, for yeah. the zip, zipping, yeah. Well, I've got this monkey beaver zip line kit. And I think it's got a 200 foot rope in it. And it has the slingy dings? Yeah, that's gonna be yeah, the... Yeah, we've got slingy dings. Yeah, this stuff, I don't really know what it does. Exactly. Do, you, do you like these, or do you like um, these? That looks oh. like it's already set up. I'm not gonna... As much as I do like that, 
this isn't like a gnarly tree where you're gonna get all that stuff caught up. I'll keep this one. You get this one. Look at you, just everything in the rig box. It's so great. Even a little bit better than the Jetta. <laughs> Okay, let's if we were in the Jedi, I'd be like, I absolutely do not have a speed line kit. With <laughs> no, me. I don't have this with me right now. All right, flooded it for you. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> you set it on up. <laughs> No, yeah, go for it. Sweet. That seems way better to me than using gas. Huh? And get stuck on more stuff. Please. Uh, do you know how to turn off the PTO? Is it in the cab? Yeah, so like there'll be a cruise control button. There's two cruise control buttons. Oh, this but, thing's got everything. Like, uh, yeah, it has cruise control on that bad boy. Yeah, cruise control. Yeah, you just hit it off. Okay, yeah. And yeah. then pushing the clutch and Dude, you see that? Dude, and the handle spins on it. Yeah. Or the top thing spins. So, Dude, do you see- this do? do you see the, the PTO? Like the green? But it's like a, uh, yeah. it's a red handle, so pushing the clutch and then flip it over to the other side. Okay, and what is a clutch? <laughs> <laughs> it's on the far far right. You're gonna hit that as hard as you can. Okay. It's gonna rev. Alright. I see a lot of I see a stick with some numbers on it. I, I don't know what they mean. Mm, just hit it in the R as hard as you can. So Dylan, we're gonna start uh, zip lining this stuff. Okay. So the branches are probably gonna land about here. Okay. So you might wanna pull forward. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, good old oil, <laughs> oil pan. This is a rather big tree, I guess. Yeah, it's or too big for me. That's, that's why I had you do it, it's too big for me. <laughs> it's gonna be, are you ready? Yeah. Oh man, nice. Uh, I just, I don't think so. Although I do need to grab, yeah, you want to just grab, hold that? It won't be too heavy. We don't have to, you'll be all right. Uh, hey Dylan, D drop it before it hits the tree. You might want to back up your truck. We'll see, this is the first go. Yeah, don't let it go like into that. Is that a mimosa? What? That tree that where it's like, this <laughs> line's going over the branch. Oh. I just, I just like, try to let yeah, it stop so. before it hits the, the mm -hmm. all that stuff. So we're not, yeah. we're not breaking that. Yeah, he right. doesn't want to break that mimosa tree. Here we go. Mimosa sound, sounds delicious right now. Nice. Yeah, okay, those are kind of heavy. Yeah, he's probably going to want to back up a little bit. Yeah, I probably want to want to back up, I guess. Yikes, okay, these are big ones. Man, I should have been climbing. <laughs> that was at least 500 pounds. It sounded like I couldn't see what you were doing. <laughs> but it sounded about five.
going on. Yeah, this is a big, big bad Larry. I think it's like one of the bigger ones. Okay, hold on. Let me uh, I'm gonna put a wrap on it because just for fun. Just so you can really get me wobbling. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me when you're ready. I'm so tangled up. Hold on. Oh. My feet are just okay. All right, I'm ready. Might, might as well make a few loops in that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Great. That was gnarly. Thanks. Yeah, okay. You good? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, one more. Uh, hold on, going. <laughs> Yo, that, that, that took you. That handled me. Yeah, that took you for a little ride, did it not? Yeah, it did. Uh, Dylan, we could probably uh, chip this as we go. Do you think? Yeah, we can do that. Okay, sounds good. Did uh, did you want to back up at all? Yeah. I am online. You can probably handle this one. <laughs> <laughs> I was just being a goof. as possible so the climbers aren't waiting on you. I mean, I'm talking to the GoPro right now, Randy's waiting on me, but <laughs> I, guess, I guess I should. Uh... And this is one of the nice applications of static line. You know, it's hard to tie knots with it. It's really stiff, but the lower stretch also means that it, it zip lines down better. So, same with pulling trees over. The static line has less stretch, less dip, so it's better at pulling trees over. Line. This is the monkey beaver speed line kit. Where do you even buy such an awesome chain? I only know one spot. 
helps out your supplies. You ever, you ever heard of them? What an awesome day! All right, I'm gonna unhook this, uh, the static zipline line and hook it to myself. I'm gonna go up and set up this GoPro ordeal on the, on that, on that one. It's, it's, uh, it's final destination. Chainsaw still down there. Oh, <laughs> or your or your chainsaw. Sorry, that was. Uh, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> no, no, that's still. That's a. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't even. I didn't even look. That would have been. Wow. That was. Uh, it was like feet away from me. Ooh, that was almost a big, spendy, uh, spendy deal. Strong. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so light is what I thought you were going to say. Yeah. Nothing for that speed cut nano you bought at sappysupplies.com. <laughs> Just a trip right through. Yeah, you're just cutting right through it with that speed cut nano from Sappy Supplies, and, and cottonwood's the hardest wood around. I mean, I, I know we just did those ironwoods not too long ago. That was nothing. These cottonwoods are way harder. I'm only gonna cut cottonwood when I try to promote the barge. <laughs> the hardest wood there ever was. Yeah. Cutting some more oak, everybody. 
You want me to keep them coming that way? Or do you want me to like, cause we can keep a stick in the air till we're done with that, right? Then we can fall it. I mean, we can fall this thing. Yeah, we can fall it and then roll it out, roll it towards the firewood, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's just fall it. I think we should, oh man. Whew. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh wow. I mean, I can keep chucking, but I mean, at some point we're gonna have to fall it. Unless you want me to do it all the way down. If we just fall that thing, like right there, right? Or shoot, I feel like we could even go, if we put a rope, we could go that way. Oh, put it right here? Like uh, once that tree's gone, cause right, that little one's coming out, out, it'll fit right towards that cedar. Oh, now we're talking. Get it out of the, the drive path. Yeah, that, that would work. And we could also drive, I feel like that's a roundabout drive. We can drive through there. Okay, yeah, let's just put it right here. No, no shorter? Looks kind of close. That's why I was like. I think it's fine. Awesome. Let me just see which way, which way does it lean. How's a butt butt swell over there going that way, but it kinks back out. I mean, I think it's going that way. Oh yeah, we, we don't need a rope. No? No. No rope. Okay. The one that got away. Oh, yeah.
36 inch bar. Yeah. I was gonna go nip that off, but I didn't get around to it. Alright, well, Randy and Dylan are gonna nibble away at that guy over here. I'm just gonna buck this into, he's got a tractor, I'm just gonna cut it into like movable pieces for him. So, I think most of the action's done, but I'll let you watch me buck some wood for a little while, I guess. I gotta be try, I try to be uh, careful like, that there's a lot of dirt on the bottom. That's one of the things that sucks about dropping these poles, they hit the ground so hard, they just get lots of dirt. So I gotta be uh, careful of that. I might chop away some of it, I might, I don't know. I just, I don't wanna cut it. I get a lot from homeowners is do you use special chains to that don't get dull I see you cutting all day with the same blade is what they say <laughs> they often call it a blade instead of a chain but for a lot of homeowners they don't know like us tree guys are super careful with our chains you know you know I took the time a couple minutes just to you know knock off the bark with the axe and I'm looking all the time back and forth on this side of the log see how close to the ground I get I mean I'm talking one second of hitting this dirt and my chain's dull so it's constantly looking 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 I'm watching the top of the log to make sure that doesn't pinch my bar I see it starting to open so that tells me I can keep cutting you know and look how close I am over here it's like just above the ground and then I'll probably pull my saw out a little bit because I know it's a round log right so I know that there's some wood sort of in the middle on the lower side I can cut a little more wood with my tip just barely I'll watch my sawdust if it starts to get dark you know that means I'm hitting bark which means I immediately stop but I actually want to stop before I get to that point but all this to say I think a lot of people don't really understand just how quickly these chains get dull I mean it's one second of the chain spinning so quickly it's just one second in the dirt and the chain's dull so it's a lot of work and effort to try to make sure you're looking for nails make sure you're you know like I, I chisel off the bark if I have to make cuts like that just because it's fat if I don't have to sharpen my chain at the end of the day it's gonna be worth the time it took to just knock a little bark off but you know it's also being really careful in the bottom of these cuts it just takes one second and the chains fried so you know I look at this side a lot especially right now it's nice because it's level ground but hills it's even trickier like you want to really make sure that you're on top of it but yeah you just gotta be careful I'll cut a little more and then even if this log is still attached by a little bit of bark or something I'm just gonna tell the guy I think you can break it with your tractor there should be very very little wood you know I mean I can't pick these up so I'm just kind of doing the best I can to get through them you know I can't and if there's a situation where like I have to cut all the way through it I'll leave those cuts for last because I'd rather get 95% of the way cut up on each one of these cuts and then come back and be like okay I, I gotta I'm probably gonna dull my chain on this one save that at the end I also leave stumps for the end stump cuts I leave that for the end I'd rather because if you dull your saw say you fall the stick then you cut the stump and you dull your saw and then you got to cut all this with a dull saw or swap chains or whatever I, I would just rather do the dirtiest cuts last um, so I might have to come back and nibble some more out the bottoms of these but I'll do that at the very end um, if I feel like I need to do that I, I feel like there is barely any wood holding all this on here so 
I think he can bust that out with his tractor. And it's cottonwood, which is a weak species. So just keep on bucking. <laughs> chain i'm pretty happy about that that's this kid's kind of lucky really i mean that was it hit the ground hard it was really packed with dirt but my chain's still cutting really well uh, i'm really happy about that but yeah i'm gonna grab the, the bigger husky all right we're running the 395 with the 42 inch bar I, I love this saw uh that does feel quite a bit lighter though Cleaning off the GoPro. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. See the barber chair I got on this thing. Uh, um, Down. Are you gonna uh, back up to this thing? Yeah. Here, I'll trade you. I'll, I'll uh, you, back up. I'll handle this. 
Do you okay. have the rope? Because I can. Yep, I got it. Well, I can. While you direct it, I can lower. I see, see this end of it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was uh, I was in a weird spot to be. <laughs> Not all weird. Ready? Yeah. Washington sky, man. <laughs> so nice, nice and gray. You don't need me to move my truck, of course, of course not. What was I thinking? <laughs> Probably, I don't know if you're at an angle for your holding wood over here, but you, I don't know if you're straight across. I mean, there's still some some holding wood on this side. Gonna bang some wedgies. <clears throat> oh, it looks like it's about to go. Oh. It's really close. Yeah, it looks like it was like, just maybe like a hand wedge. You need want me to kick that? And it'll, hand wedge. Like, well, like this. Ah! <laughs> I am surprised it didn't go. It's definitely wood. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go on the other side and. Good thing 
I got the old. Uh, <laughs> the, the double, old did double stack just show up? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Stand back, double stack. Stand back for double stack. <laughs> Tree cables or something? <laughs> you alright? I was trying to run away. Oh, and look. Dude. I was like, oh. Oh. Look at that. Oh, you were caught up in the. Uh, yeah, I went to run away and I yeah, couldn't. I couldn't just because of the stupid blackberry. Yeah, I went like this and I just thought, what? <laughs> well, I guess, I guess that's, that's my so foot. Crazy. I couldn't see that blackberry. There goes my foot. Whew, that was uh, really scary. Dude, that, that was kind of gnarly. I went, dude, I switched around. I was like frozen. Like, uh oh. Blowing my back cat. That's why it was so stubborn. <sighs> Over there on the top. On the. It's all right. Stupid. Just, just show them, show them how not to do it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how it's Next done. will be perfect. That's what I usually. That's what I. Why not I just do it perfect? <laughs> <laughs> so much easier when it goes perfect. But then we get the job done in like too. twenty um, minutes. Might want both you guys pull in because it's like back leany. It's nice of you to show them how to fix a face cut. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going with a really big, open, conventional face cut. Uh, that way it gives the tree a long time to close, and the Humboldt, you know, it just would be fighting this thing, so... so cool <laughs> I love it I just gotta cut this stuff up move it a little bit of grubbies cleaned up and we're out of here uh, springtime in Washington so nice so warm beautiful I'm glad that we're not in Florida anymore yeah this is much better it's about 50 degrees love it Hey, great job today, man. Thank you. Hey, good you to work it, yeah. with you. Nice yeah. job. It was fun. Ah, I hope you yeah, that was awesome. All right, well, that's a wrap for this job. Brandy did a good job. Dylan did a really great job. It was really great working with him. It's cool. He, like, specializes in groundwork. And I mostly do contract climbing, so does Randy, so we're just kind of a ragtag bunch. Uh, making, it, making it work, making it happen. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. It might be a little... Uh, I got I got a baby coming any day now, so my third child, so I'm not going to be doing any tree work next month. I don't know how that's going to work out with the YouTube videos. I might end up with like a couple weeks of no videos or something. I don't know. But uh, anyways, wish me luck. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.